I'm pretty excited because the developers of Magix did listen to one of my video about their product and they sent me an email with a few comments, so I'm going to share it with you. So a few days after posting my video about Magic's Core FX Suite, I received an email from uh, Basti, their representative, and he uh, said that uh, their developers uh, saw my video and were preparing an answer, and I just received it, so I'm going to read it to you. Uh, first they say, Hi Marco, uh, first of all, thanks for the great video. You mentioned a couple of things that we would like to comment. First, the black GUI after copying was reproduced and we are working on a solution. Uh, that's good, that wasn't a very big problem, but a bit annoying. So um, good thing that we that will be fixed hopefully soon. Um, and I must say that there's a new version of Samplitude uh, Pro X4 as well that just came out today, so uh, I'm gonna try it and maybe that bug isn't there anymore. Anyway, second point, tap tempo for the delay. Well, we are implementing a beat sync that is hopefully useful too. Well, actually the, it is better than a uh, tap uh, tempo because it will sync with your project. So uh, that's a good thing. I'm uh, eager to see that implemented. And the third point, the audible distortion in the bass is introduced by the 11 dB clipping with a short release time. We might change the minimum of the ceiling parameter to a moderate level. Thanks for pointing that out, Marco. In such a case, we recommend a multiband limiter with a longer release on the sub bass. Uh, yeah, of course, the, that distortion, I did not take it as a problem or as a defect of the plugin. I was uh, pushing it very hard, so I was expecting something to happen. Uh, but as it's a great uh, suggestion that they gave me, and uh, we'll see uh, if they make some change if, and if the sound will uh, come out different at the end. And of course, they end with... Thanks again, and please check our website for future updates and bug fixes. And I will uh, give you the link in the description of this video. Uh, so I want to thank the developers for uh, taking the time to listen to my video and uh, put up some answers. I'm very honored that this happened. And of course, I'm going to test those uh, plugins uh, more deeply in the next videos. Uh, so stay tuned for that. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments below. If you did like this video, please click on like, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications, and share my videos. It's always a great help.